What's up everyone, this is Multitorials here and today I'm going to show you how to view hidden files and folders in Windows 10. So let's get right into this. So um, to give you a perspective, these are files that are actually hidden. You're, not that you're not supposed to go in there and see it, but they're sometimes like window related files or like actual computer files where you shouldn't be messing around if you don't know what it is, hence why they're hidden. So a lot of times you're not allowed to kind of see them. So the way you actually activate this is because a lot of times when you're trying to like either download a game or install a specific software, they tell you to kind of go and tweak some things. And because of that, you want to know, how do I even see this? I don't see app data or local or something. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to open up a file explorer, which is just a fancy way of saying one of the folders, any of the folders that you have, you can either press Windows E, which is a shortcut to open this or find it in the taskbar or in your menu option somewhere. When you're in here, basically you can do it from here, but I want to give you a perspective of how it looks like. So just go to your local disk. See, in here, on the top corner, left-hand corner, there's something called view. And in here, you're going to click something called hidden items. This is going to show, as you can see, this greatly expanded from like what it was to a lot more things now. You see recovery in here, the system value information, you got... I don't know, system reset, recycle bin, and like different other formats. Like I said, the, the purpose is to, there's like a system file of 16, is that gigs? I think that's gigs over here. There's like a lot of information that you shouldn't theoretically be messing around with. And hence why, you know, rightfully so, they're hidden. But again, like I said, sometimes people want to go into the program data and see other things. Like a lot of times you want to delete something or look at the back end data. For example, one of my coins was somewhere in the program data that was hidden and I was able to find it. My uh, uh, crypt crypto coins, I think it was a um, Dogecoin. And I was uh, able to find my 10 year old coins and sell them for a good profit. But anyways, for example, that, that was like an example. Sometimes you want to be able to see and view your hidden files. So that's literally the easiest way you can do it. I know you can go into advanced option as well. Uh, I don't know if this Windows 10 has it, but it's fairly simple. It's just there. You just do hidden extensions, hidden items, sorry, and you can see it. You can also obviously do file name extensions, which is that .sys or .excel or .something, JPEG or PNG, etc. That shows it as well. Uh, but again, I know it's hidden. That's why people usually don't click the view option. They just see a folder and that's it. They don't touch it or anything after that. But that's it. That's literally all you do. And boom, you can view your hidden files and folders. Very simple and easy to do. So yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys uh, liked the video. If you did, please smash that like button. Helps out. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And other than that, most tutorials out. Peace.